has grown. <laughs> oh, shut it. Well, the sun's up. Well, it's not up because there's no sun. Because it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's windy. Well, it's not windy. It'll be windy. It's probably windy for you. Um, we're going to do our pots right there. Uh, we're going to do all the pots there. right there. And the other pots right there. We're going to check these ones. These are only singles. Uh, we're going to go and fish a bit. We're going to go get some bait first if we're going to go and fish. So we might try bass them first with lures. And... We'll make it up as we go, but let's get going. It is raining, so the camera hopefully will try and keep it dry. I may have to tip the camera every so often, which might be a bit of annoyance because it will be pointing down, but not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Right. Get Got us in the right position now. Yeah. Before the GPS went screwy, I mean, it was showing us on the land. It seems to be right at the moment. This is the uh, blue commercial pot. There it is. Will your confidence pay off? Well, I've got three possible confidences. Yep, paid off for a Rocky. Yeah. Crazy rockfish. I wonder if I can use some of that for bait, fishing bait. I've never tried it. Rockfish, fishing with rockfish. There we go. Title of the video, fishing with rockfish. <laughs> We don't catch anything, you won't see the video. <laughs> so there's a, there's a hint. So there's one spider in there like that, and one rockfish which is upside down like that. One wrasse. Right, let us get this down. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to position this one. This one looks like it's on the open sand. I think I might just throw this one a bit off. I think I found the rock after I dropped this one. Oh no, maybe it's sort of near the rock. Near a bit of rock anyway. As we know, they will travel around onto the sand anyway. We'll be here very quickly, this one. I mean, what can I say about this pot? I mean, yeah. this is ancient pot. Yeah, look at it. Well and truly, very experienced pot, this one. Yeah, look at it. See? Professional. We only put this down yesterday, and got two oversized lobsters in it. Ba -bum. I know. Ka -ching. Ka -ching. <laughs> nice lobsters. I mean, it, I don't even lean on it, it's going to collapse. Yeah, I know, it's falling to bits, but it still catches. I mean, look at those lobsters, that you don't even have to gauge them. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. Pop it down, next to the wrasse. There's one, that's definitely size. And there's the other one, which is even bigger. What is up with that one? <clears throat> Why is that so covered in weird. weird? That looks like it's coming out of a store pot, the color of it, but yeah. it can't be. This one's really strange, we've never seen them like this because if you put it down, and we can have a look at it, it's purple for a start. But if you look at this lobster, it can't see it in this light probably, but it's it's covered in like a fine weed. This is when like a lobster that's been sitting in a store box for ages, and in the light, the weed would grow on it. But for some reason, it's maybe it's just been sitting somewhere where there's a lot of light, I don't know. That's an odd one, because it doesn't feel like it's been in a store pot. But it looks it like it's escaped for a while now. It looks like it's been in a store pot though. 
Yeah, but normally the weed and that would die when it goes back into a hole, although the tail isn't covered in it, so. But anyway, it's a lobster, it's big enough. And uh Yeah. Maybe it was a homeless lobster. And that's why the weed grew on it. Might have dropped this one actually down the side, it just didn't look like it grew a bit far over the edge. Trouble with casting these lures, I can't, I can't power cast them. You know that. Bang them out. Oh, that's a take. That's a take. That's a take. Yeah, I can't power cast it because. Yeah. It doesn't feel very heavy. But Let's see. There we go, nice bass on the neon nibbler, the lazy lures lure again. <laughs> These lures are amazing, I tell you. It's got those big head nods. There it goes. Another one on the neon nibbler again. Look at him, man. Yeah, that's a beauty, that one, eh? That's a belter. There we go, look at that beauty. Cracker. Well pleased about that. I bet you are. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you said you could tell it was a big one, by the way. Yeah. It was head, head shaking nods. and, yeah. You and always tell the little ones fight, the big ones do yeah. big, powerful head shaking. It's just like, boof, boof. Yeah. That's Look nice at that. Excellent. It's not very big, though. What is it? That's the question. Look at it, look at it. Look at the size of that mackerel. Bouncing mackerel. Right, it's chucking it down with rain. We're just gonna lift some pots. We finished fishing. We end up with two bass, one mackerel. Now we're gonna try, see if we've got any lobsters in these pots. Right, I'm gonna check these ones before we go in. Then we're gonna grab one more set and we'll be taking those in with us. Taking them home. We're gonna start bringing the pots out now. Take all the best ones first, as in quality, and work our way down to the rough stuff over the next few weeks or we may hold off, depending on what the weather does. We'll see how we go with the weather. But everything needs to come in now, be dried out, cleaned, repaired, all that sort of stuff, over the winter. This is a place that, found it a couple of years back, but I never tried it, didn't really catch on it, but it looks interesting. And I don't think many people pot on it, or have potted on it at all this year, so thought I'd give it a go comes
I am right. I knew it. I told you. I told you. Look. Look what I said. I said it. I knew it. I had, I had so much confidence that there would be some lobster here. Because I've seen this. I found this spot here a couple of reefs, a couple of years ago. And I haven't really any, seen anybody really pot on it ever. I mean, the last couple of years, not here. So I thought, we'll give it a go. And look at that. Look at the size of those two in there. They've been here a little while, but there'll probably be some more here, so we're going to put the pots back. This pot didn't catch because it's this pot. But... Oh, oh. Look at these, because these are absolute belters. Funny thing was, I marked this spot two years ago. I still had the marks here, so I thought, well, let's try it. Look at that one. Yeah, exactly that. Look at that. <laughs> That's what you call a lobster. And another one. Lovely. Look at that. Superb. Right, we're going to bake these up and put them back in the same spot. Shows how much lobster is left around here. <laughs> Once the man said baits out, give him a flush. Open that one. We are back home you can tell that by the grass under my feet but I thought I'd show you the catch that we had today this was the final count we had five lobsters big lobsters as well today so I'm very pleased with that because all this was some fishing in the bay today we didn't leave the bay we just did a trip out in the bay sort of two to three hour trip over the high tide did a few pots did a bit of fishing with the rods trying for bass and we got bass we got a large one there uh, another one a bit smaller, a very big mackerel. That's another huge mackerel. Not quite as big as the one I had uh, on a previous video, but not far off. And a wrasse. Now, the wrasse will go as bait for the pots because lobsters love to eat wrasse. It's in the natural environment, so they probably find it quite often. And the bass and the mackerel will be going as food. But all in all, a very successful trip this morning just for a short trip in the bay. In fact, probably more successful than some of the outer trips. So.